Hi everyone. Today we're going to read about penguins. Did you know that April 25th is World Penguin Day? To celebrate penguins, we have two great stories brought to you by two second graders, a young author's books. The first one is by Keenan Garcia, and his book is entitled Keenan and Daniel. He dedicates his book to his mom and dad for their encouragement, support, and teaching him to believe in himself, in God, and in his dreams. My name is Keenan. I'm eight years old and a second grader at Holy Rosary School. I like going to school. My favorite subject is math. I enjoy playing with my classmates and friends. At school, my friend Nathan and I always talk about our favorite online game called Roblox. It's really cool and fun playing games with my friends. But if there's one thing I really like, it is to have a pet dog. When I see other kids with their own pet dogs, I always wish I had one too. I will take care of him, walk him, feed him, play with him, and we'll have a lot of good times together. All of my friends have pets, except me. But sadly, I got allergies. I asked my mom why I have allergies. She explained to me I was born with it and told me about science stuff. But in short, I can't have a pet dog. Last summer, my family and I went for a vacation in Canada. When my aunt found out I wanted a pet dog, she said, how about having a pet toy instead? Then when I grow up, maybe I can have a real dog. So she gave me a blue fluffy penguin stuffed toy. I can't remember how I got his name, but I named him Daniel. I instantly fell in love with Daniel. He's always with me when I eat, sleep, and even when we travel. Sometimes I bring him to school to show my teachers and classmates. And he comforts me when I have a bad day too. I don't even have to take special care of him. No walking, feeding, cleaning up to do. This is just perfect. My aunt was right. Having a penguin stuffed toy is fun, almost like having a real pet dog. When I grow up, I hope I can have a real pet dog. But for now, Daniel is my best buddy. Keenan loves to sing, draw, and listen to music. He likes to bike ride and play video games with his dad and his friends. The end. Let's see here. On April 25th, it's the day that, and season that the penguins begin their annual northward migration. Penguins don't fly. They walk or waddle their way to and from. Penguins live in Antarctica. The next book I'm going to read to you is by Ryan, and his book is called Pax the Lost Penguin. One night, a little boy named Ryan, Rye for short, fell fast asleep after a long day of running track in the hot sun. He began to dream of a cold, quiet place full of penguins. He walked toward the penguins, his feet crunching in the snow. As he approached, he saw a penguin by himself and said, are you lost? The penguin said, yes, I am lost. Can you help me? I can't remember a thing. Rye then said, are those penguins over there your family? Pac says, no, I walked for miles to find my family. We were separated in an avalanche. I must have hit my head because I can't remember where they are. Rye says, I can help you, but first, what is your name? The penguin looks up with a half smile and said, my name is Pax. Rye and Pax begin walking in the snow in search of Pax's family. 
After some time, they reach a cow. Pac says, I remember, this is Callie the cow. I met her earlier. Hi, Callie. I, I can't remember where I left my family. Can you help me? Callie said, you were walking from that direction, continuing towards the forest. You'll find them there. Rye and Pax keep walking. Pax begins to remember his journey. He sees that there is Jorge the horse. Nay, nay, nay. It's you again, Pax. Have you lost your family again? Jorge says. Yes, I can't remember where I left them, Pax said. Okay, continue that way along the river. You will find them. Rye and Pax keep walking down the river's edge. They run into Diesel the dog. Diesel begins to bark. Woof, woof. It's you again, Pax. Did you get lost again? Who is your friend? Pax says, this is Rye. He is helping me find my family. Okay, Pax, see that chimney smoke? Your home is that way. Good luck, says Diesel. Rye and Pax see the house in the distance and they begin to run. In the yard is Pax's mom, dad, and sister. They see Pax and begin shouting his name. Pax, we were so worried, his mother said. So glad you found your way, Pax, said his dad. Don't ever leave us again, said his sister. They gave him a big family hug. Pax turned to Rye and said, thank you for helping me. How can I repay you? Just remember to help others when they are lost, Rye says. Standing in the distance on a hilltop are Diesel, Jorge, and Callie. Then Callie says, remember Pax, there will always be people who can help you. For the Bible it says, and do not forget to do good and share with others. For such sacrifices, God is pleased. That's from Hebrews 13, 16. Ryan then wakes up in his room. He smiles and says, you're welcome, Pax. I will never forget you. Ryan loves football, basketball, track, cross country and swimming. He likes to play with his sister, Kylie. The end. So what's black and white, black and white, and black and white? You ready for the answer? A penguin rolling down a hill. Who's the penguin's favorite ant? Antarctica. How does a penguin make pancakes? You guessed it, with its flippers. Have a beautiful Sunday, everyone. I hope everyone was able to go to Mass today and that you celebrated with your families and enjoyed a great special breakfast in honor of Holy Hotcakes. Send us those, those pictures and those videos and we'll put it all together and share it with everyone. Bye.